Remove the lid from the Instant Pot. First step is always to coat the inside of the Instant Pot with extra virgin olive oil. Next step is always to add the liquid ingredients before the solid. This is six cups of beef bone broth reconstituted from powder with six packets and six cups of water. It's low sodium beef bone broth. Next, add the dry ingredients. That'll be eight tablespoons of garlic powder. Actually, I'm gonna just do six. Six tablespoons of a dried herb. I'm gonna use oregano. One teaspoon of ground black pepper. And finally, I'm gonna add 400 grams or two cups of hard red wheat berries. I'm gonna rinse them off in a colander first over the sink. These have been rinsed under the sink. I'm going to transfer them to the Instant Pot. It takes all my willpower not to stir this up but it prevents burning if you don't mix the ingredients. That way this, the drier ingredients don't sink to the bottom as easily and burn as quickly. Add the lid. Press pressure cook. Press pressure level, make sure it's on high. Adjust the time to 35 minutes and it will start and stop automatically. The Instant Pot is done and it's depressurized on its own. I'm going to remove the lid. Still extra liquid. I'm going to press saute and I'm going to saute it with the lid off to let the water evaporate. Next time I'm going to use five cups of broth instead of six. Now that I've reduced the liquid by sauteing, I'm going to let it cool, transfer to a Tupperware. This will be eight servings of wheat berries which will be two servings a day to add to salad. 